Hey Nate, how's it going? Hey Nate, how's it going? Why are you copying? Why are you me? copying me? Can you stop? Can you stop? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, this is enough. Dude, what's your deal? Dude, I'm just getting this ready for Thursday Learn Day this week. <laughs> A simple introduction would have sufficed. A simple introduction would have sufficed. Anyway, this week we're going to take a look at looping conditionals with our sensors. Is that right? Nope. Sensors as part of a looping conditional. We're going to look at the accelerometer and gyroscope. You can do this activity with a mini, spark plus, or bolt. Today, we're going to use a bolt. But be sure to look online for the tutorials on how to use a mini and spark plus. That's right. We're going to try to see if we can get this cat to mimic the motions of the bolt. When you tip it left, Right, forwards, or backwards. We'll start a program that loops forever with five nested conditional statements that will mimic the movement of all of the cats we want to copy. I don't know what I just said. We'll start a program with a loop forever and nest five separate conditionals inside, one for each of the five types of movements we want the cat to copy. We've turned off stabilization to make sure that the whole robot tilts each time we move it. In the first if-else, we check to see if the accelerometer measures greater than 2G. If so, it jumps all over. The second and third if-else check to see if bolt has been tilted to the right or left more than 15 degrees respectively. And the last two if-else conditions check to see if the bot has been tilted forward or back more than 15 degrees. Each of these have their own animation that depicts the cat following or copying the direction of the tilt. Wow, that's really cool. So could I use that same logic to maybe tilt the robot and tell the robot which direction to drive? Oh, for sure. <laughs> you could set all sorts of different conditionals for the sensors and make the cat react in any sort of way that you want it to. Awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to check out the Thursday Learn Day to figure out how to do this over and over again. And you should do the same thing too. You should do the same thing too. Anyway, we'll see you next week on Thursday Learn Day. Thanks for tuning in. What's that thing? We have to point to the Thursday Learn Day banner. Oh. I forget. <clears throat>